It's tough because like, we're so close. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of good things, but we're just not you know, finishing, getting the win. And it's like, you know, on the outside, it's, it's frustrating. I get it. It's frustrating here. Yeah, like, we work our ass off every day to try to go out there and, and, and be our best. And I feel like, you know, we're on our way. And, like, you know, even though it's hard right now, it seems like, you know, the world's closing down. It's like, you know, we have a lot of positive things to take from it. Um, you know, I feel like just overall, deep defensively, we played, you know, better all together. Like, we just took a deep breath and just, like, let's take it one play at a time. And, like, that's what we try to emphasize and um, not overthinking, not overdoing, just going out there and, and executing one play at a time. That's, that's really all you can do. You can't they make one good play. It's not the end of the world. They can't lead to boom, 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 another couple big plays. It's got to be like, all right, whatever, and just bounce back. And like, we're on our way. And it's, that's the tough part because we all work so damn hard, and it's, we're trying to get it right. And, you know, it's got to stay positive in, in times like this. You talked about okay. the execution. Man. just comes down to a few plays here and there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, they made, you know, it, it comes down to one play at the end. You know, we've been there three times this year, so um, it's tough. But you know, we got great guys in this locker room, um, great leaders, and we just got to keep pushing. Is that kind of as a leader, that's your message to Absolutely. You either, you know, you can either sink or swim. Like, there's no option. We're going into week four now. There's a lot of football left. Um, you know, last year we lost, what, five out of six in the middle of the year? Like, if we would have quit, nobody would have talked about that yet. You know, all they, all they remember is, you know, us going to the playoffs. Like, that's ultimately, like, that's what we play for. We want to play. But right now, it's, it's, it's get a win. You know, it comes down to getting a win. That's all we're trying to do. And it's, it's tough. But, you know, like I said, we got great guys, great coaches, um, great players. So we just got to keep, you know, moving forward. It can be very frustrating. Um, I feel like a lot of times, whether it's football or whether it's license terms, results don't always indicate, you know, what kind of growth can be made in the process, what kind of lessons are being learned. So, uh, results aren't going our way right now, but it doesn't mean that we you know, go about the process any differently. We still show up to work, we still try to make the best that we can. And, uh, you know, you, you bounce back from this first year. Nothing new to me, it's nothing new to guys in this locker room, so you just gotta find a way to work through it and just stack good data on top of each other. Is that kind of the leader one of your messages? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's no way that you know we can we can look back on this part of the season and we'll put it in and laugh at it. This is, if there's anything that's going to give us character as a team, uh, these few weeks is something that's going to do that. Uh, and, excited to see how we respond. Is it more frustrating or encouraging that it's like one inch, you know, here or there that you can fix? Like, obviously there's missed opportunities, but is that encouraging that, like, hey, just clean that up, or is it frustrating, like, looking back at it? It's a little bit of both. I try to look at everything from, just from, like, a balanced perspective, looking at things that you can control and you can do better and addressing those at the same time. Looking at the heart and the guys in the locker room, the guys that you know aren't going to quit. So uh, you know you take the good and the bad, and I feel like you got to look at everything like that. And uh, you know you got to keep working. You got to uh, figure these things out, and I believe that we will. Harry out there at the goal line. Uh, I mean, that's fundamentals, man. You got to let the ball in. Uh, you got to secure the catch first and foremost. I didn't do that. I tried to turn up and, uh, you know, make a go on. And, you know, you can't, you can't do that. Uh, especially in key moments in a game like that. We talk about, so we preach just fundamentals all the time. And that was a uh, fundamental error by me. Uh, but, you know, I don't hold myself to the standard of perfection. I'm going to mess up sometimes. And, uh, but I know that I'm going to bounce back. I know one day I can't find me. I can't find me. You were just going to hit like a couple plays before that. Did that have anything to do with like, like you saw the guy come in? Or? Uh, not. Like, like I said, it was just like, you know, four fundamentals. I'm taking my eyes away from the ball before it got there. And, you know, in his own coverage down there on the goal line, they play. They got guys that are off into the ball, you know, getting buyers everywhere. So you make a mistake like that, they're going to capitalize on it. That's what happened. You might have a touchdown too that one handed uh, grab there that you almost got. That incomplete pass. Yeah, you were one. Yeah, just uh, execution.
Would you classify as more frustration or anger at the, the outcome that you've had the last three weeks? Both. Frustrated and angry. Yeah. Expect more. And, I mean, it's, it's not easy to win in this league, so we know that. And we, you know, nobody's naive to the fact that it's, it's not, nobody's just going to lay down and just give you a victory. But at the end of the day, we, we expect more and we, we'll, we'll, we'll do it better as we move forward. Is that kind of the message as a leader? I mean, because now you as a leader only three that they'll listen to messages from leadership group. Like, what is the message at this point? Stay the course. You know, keep grinding and, and doing what we're doing. And um, we just we just need to tweak a few things. I mean, they made a couple more better plays than us um, today. And, I mean, that's, that's three games that came down to the wire. And we just got to find a better way to start and uh, learn how to finish out some of these games. So. You got to get back to the drawing board, take a look at the film, and then see exactly what it was. But that's basically the overall message. We got to have better starts, come out, can't be flat early, and then, um, you know, put ourselves in a better position to, um, you know, kind of keep our foot on the gas as we go. Um, you know, we build up a lead early. And if not, we got to come back in, in uh, you know, in situations like this where it's not ideal, but still got a chance, still got to find a way to get to win those games. Devontae, last week, Coach talked about execution and so forth. Just a fine line, isn't there, between getting it done and not getting it done? 100%. 100%. I mean, it's, you know, we had a couple shots at it, you know, some big plays today, and then it's just a you know, small thing, whether it's, you know, a receiver not, you know, coming down with it. You know, I have my foot on the line on the one, on the sideline. Um, or if it's some a little small piece up front, or you know, it's, it's always it's always a fine line, like you said. So you just got to make sure you do everything you can to, to execute in the moment. What do you do to kind of avoid the snowball effect where you guys got to start getting frustrated now, 0 and 3, that you can bounce this thing back? Frustration is okay. It's not it's not the end of the world to be frustrated. I mean, I don't think anybody in here should be happy and content with uh, with with losing. I mean, especially when you have the type of men we have in this locker room. And like I said from the very beginning, just because we're good on paper doesn't mean we're going to be great as a team. You know, we're still working toward that, and it's still early. But um, you know, we got to start establishing who we are as a team. And that's it's a, like I said, frustration is okay as long as you do something about it. Thank you. you talk about being like an inch away, mm -hmm. and a couple different plays. Thanks, so. Is that more more frustrating? Or is that more encouraging that it's so close to being positive? I mean, you can look at it however you want to. At the end of the day, the, the plays aren't being made. That's the most important part. I mean. Um, I mean, it's, it's obviously, you, it's, it's almost some a little bit of frustration that stems from the uh, from the, the, the lack of execution that's that's right there. You know, because it's like if it's right there, we should be you know figuring it out more often than not. So um, it's irritating, but I mean, it's, it's something that we control, and we, we got to do a better job. What happened on the uh, touchdown catch? What how that, that play go? What you see on it? Um, talking about mine? Yeah. Uh, just. I mean, they, they doubled it as they did 95% of the game. And, uh, you know, I had to find a way to to get open and split them, basically, and Derek threw a great ball over the top of his head and I just had to make a play. Oh, when you talk about doing their doubling you that much, uh, is that, do you just kind of take that on and say, hey, other people make plays? Or what, I guess, what's no, the approach that? Hell no, hell no. Uh, it's never, I've been getting played like this for yeah. a while now. And the, the I mean, the operation is to figure it out and still be productive at the end of the day. So, um, you know, it's not it's not easy because I mean, anytime and it's also not easy to say I'm just going to stick with this guy even though they put multiple people on him. And the, the, the idea is that you know other guys will step up, which they did. You know, I just think it was just a little, a little uh, too late for, for some of it. You know, we just we didn't have a, a quite enough of it. But um, you know, the opportunities that I do get, I got to come down with. And then guys like Mac having a game like that, like that's what we need out of him. We just gotta have it more consistent. Those last things I was gonna ask about just max development. Like, what what has been seen? Well, I mean, from when I, from when I first saw him, it's not even the last couple of weeks. From when I first saw him, obviously he wasn't used as a uh, you know a high volume receiver earlier on. But I think the most catches he ever had in, in the season was like 16 or something like that. But I mean, that's what I expect from Mac after seeing him and, and getting to know him as a as a player. And um, you know, he can make those type of plays consistent. So we're gonna need that from him. This is how he can play.